Good morning to you, my friends. I'm Cork, and this, at long last, is Amazing Frog on the V2 Remastered Branch. And yes, there was an update, and I am incredibly excited to check it out today. But it seems like I am bugged. You get what I, you get, get what I did there? I am uh, forever buzzing. <laughs> my fly pack will not stop, so I think I need to fix this before I go absolutely insane. Please help me, somebody. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I just realized I, I can't put on accessories in there. I, this is a character from the other, from the legacy version carried over to here, isn't it? Wait a minute. I'm not supposed to have the fly pack here, am I? Am I? Um, huh. Well, I guess we're gonna have to deal with the, or I could switch to a different, you know what I'm gonna do? Okay, the the buzzing is still there because this man is um he's um uh well he's going places, folks. We're just gonna get away from here and Oh no. <laughs> okay, it's fading. It's fading away. Please <laughs> No it's back! I guess we're just gonna have a subtle undertone in this uh video. Hopefully you guys don't mind that. It's a little bit frustrating to me. But I guess we should get into the contents of the update. So what they're doing with, well, I guess I should kind of explain. What they're doing with V2 Remastered, if you don't know, is trying to remaster, as it says, the V2 content from the legacy version and make it a more up-to-date engine so everything just runs better and stuff. So it's really, really cool. And they've put in some new features from the Legacy Edition into V2 Remastered, along with some new features from V3. So, like, that's what they're doing. They're kind of mixing the two, uh, taking the best of both worlds and making it kind of like a V2 Remastered Edition. So, we're going to look at some of the new things they put in today. Now, I will admit, it's been a while since I played V2 Remastered. I've been spending most of my time on V3. So, if I think some things are new that aren't new i apologize it's just because i've been spending some time in v3 and things are a little different on these two versions so bear with me please firstly you can notice that uh, they brought back the the uh, the post bins which uh, is where you put the mail and you can get points i wonder if the points actually mean anything yet huh they also have that right there a new little ui system that is uh, very, very helpful for seeing what you've collected and stuff. It also works for ammunition, which is no longer infinite anymore. It does appear that uh, getting points is now a thing again. And it looks like it gives you the key to the city, and that is indeed how you get out in V2 Remastered. So it seems like it's finally coming together. So let's see. Um, in the update, they added flamethrowers are back, so they got fireworking in V2 Remastered. Kind of want to check that out again, but also because it's uh, spooky season, they added the spooky world back to the game. I want to turn on the guns so that I can see if I can get the flamethrower here eh, and see if anything's different with it. But maybe we'll try and find the blood world and see if we can give it a go. I don't know, guys. Okay, come on. This will do. This will do. A little extra propulsion, please. Thank you very much. And what a shot. Okay, let's see. Anything anything good? Another pistol? Come on, I want a flamethrower. They're kind of hard to get, uh, unless I go to the sewers, which I do believe they redid the sewers in this version as well. So that's really cool. Anything good here? Anything good? Anything? What are those? Oh, those were in the game before, weren't they? I seem to remember that these were in the game. Now can I... Ha ha ha! That's a perfect zombie killing weapon, which I'm gonna need where I'm going. Uh, okay, so, so here's some ammo. Let's see if we can... Yeah, there we go. Machine gun ammo. That's awesome. It, it, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that the sewers have not been in this version yet. Am I correct in that? Oh, there's still a loading zone. Oh, no. Oh, it's so spooky down here. Oh, hi. You had to come along, didn't you? That's great. Now we get echoey, buzzy noises. Oh, it's kind of disappointing that there isn't a... Oh, oh, it's so echoey down here, guys. Oh, my goodness. There is one footstep sound that is so loud. You can hear it. It's the one that's going boom, boom. Oh, my goodness. That's kind of disorienting. Uh, there we go. My flashlight is... That does not help me one bit. It just makes the screen blurry. Oh, my goodness. My booming footsteps. 
I wonder if I can get into here. I think they said you can now in this version of the, uh, the, uh, V2 Remastered Branch. Oh my goodness, this is, this is gonna make me insane. I apologize for the incredible bassy booms. Uh, let's see, is the, ooh, the lighting is much better down here than it is in V2. Oh, it is still here, let's go. 100 of infinite. Does that mean I have to reload? Nope, it doesn't go down at all. Okay, that's nice. Well, if I remember correctly, flamethrower was not the very best choice against the zombies because it made them kind of like come back to life as a skeleton. So... Maybe I should bring a weapon just in case. Oh my goodness, the sounds are all so echoey down here. Oh, firing this gun is going to be really hard on my ears. It's going to be loud. Um... So, yeah, don't worry, I am a good editor, and I will... Oh, they're so loud! I'm a good editor, and I will level out the sounds. Oh my goodness, I forgot the aiming is a little wonky sometimes. Oh, there's a ladder that goes all the way up! That's handy! Okay, uh, is there still a little cart here? Yeah, I'm gonna take my little cart. There's nothing you can do about it. Yep. I'm stuck behind these boxes. I'm curious as to if the uh, secrets are all still here. So I'm gonna go try and get the key card for the uh, the science laboratory place. If I remember correctly, it's this away. It's this away and this away. And you gotta go all the way back to the yes, it's right here. I've got a lot of a lot of footstep sounds in here. It's it's quite something. I wonder, can I get the can I get the costumes like I could before? I think I already have them unlocked, though. Uh, yeah, I think. Oh wait, I am the costume now. Well, that's fun. I kind of wanted to stay being the costume I had, but actually, I didn't even have a costume. So you know what? This works out. Now I am uh, I am dressed for the occasion. Okay, guys, it was it was great, but I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. Oh, good good goodness gravy! Don't touch me. It's gross and disgusting. Can I holster this? I think I might be able to holster this. Hold on. Uh, goodbye, flashlight. Come here. Okay, I holstered it. Good. Now I can, uh... That's really nice that you can holster small items. Oh my goodness, I went so high. Okay, you know what? While we're here, might as well... Well, that really didn't work out for me. <laughs> I was gonna say, might as well check out the secrets up above. Which we'll do. We'll get to them. Oh my goodness. Ah. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna take the ladder, guys. This seems like the safe way out for me. As I said, I don't know if this was actually in V2 Remastered at all. I know that there was a time when people found a glitch that allowed them to go through walls, which allowed them to get into the sewers ahead of time. I just don't know if they were supposed to be gotten, gotten into. So now they are. Ooh, yay, I opened it. Uh, frog resources for me, please. Oh my goodness, everything is so loud. So I wonder if, like, all the, uh, the same things are here. Like, you have to get the microscopes and stuff. Probably. Uh, where were those? I had a video on those, didn't I? Well, let's just look around. Oh my goodness, all the sounds are so booming down here. Oh, hey! There is a microscope. I cannot holster it, though. That's kind of sad. I'd like to be I'd like to be able to carry more than one at a time. Holy cow! Oh, that scared me really, really badly! Ah! Oh, 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 ah, oh, get away from me! You stinky, stinky, stinky! Aha! I found it! I put one in! Um... Well, this is gonna require a little bit of extermination. Hey, you! Big smelly boy! Get over here. Ah, I'm spinning around with fire. It's probably safe and fine. Um... Excuse me, sir? Stop in the name of the fire. Um... He doesn't seem phased. Hello, sir? Stop! Um... Well... He seems to be broken now. That's good for me, I guess. I know there was a microscope at the end of some of the mini games, so was this one of them? Yes, this was one of them. All right, I guess we're going through this. I'm good at this one though. Here we go, bouncy. Holy cow. Well, we're going all the way through on one bounce. I hope you guys are proud of me. Look at my skill. I told you I was really good at this game. You guys just don't believe me sometimes, but there you go. Uh, proof that I am actually good at this game. I wasn't surprised by that, by the way. That was perfectly, uh, it was intended, it was calculated, and it was, it was skill. It was 100% skill. Oh, the main server room you can enter now. Oh, I was just going here to see. You can actually get in, and the bike is actually here. Whoa, that's so cool. 
These used to be completely sealed off. I wonder, can you get to the VR testing room? Oh? Oh, it's still locked off, eh? Oh, there's more stuff in there. Oh, man. Oh, an RPG. Well, that could be handy. Um, I'm curious. There was a time, way, way long ago, I made a video about exploring the outside of the... Oh, hi, my friend. Um, I wonder... Okay, he doesn't want any of this. Uh, that's fine. It's probably advisable for him. I made a video about exploring the outside of the sewers because you could float through the roof way, way back in the day. And I wonder if you can still do that because I got into the... Oh, he can just go through the servers. That's probably not good. That's probably not good at all. Um, I, I once got into the virtual reality testing room, but you couldn't actually interact with that big red button, which I found very disappointing. But now maybe you can, which would be super cool. I feel like I wouldn't be able to get into the VR testing room because I used the grapple guns to do that. And I'm fairly certain the grapple guns aren't in this build of the game yet, which is kind of sad. But it's understandable. I wonder if they moved any of the uh, uh, microscopes. Hey, buddy. Is he gone? Oh, no, he's just lying there on the floor. Is he dead? <gasps> did I kill it? Oh, I did. Good. That's helpful for me. Now I don't have to worry about him anymore. I also have no more RPGs, so that's kind of a pain. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. Yep. Don't fall in the lava. The floor is, in fact, lava. Let's do that again, only better this time. Here we go. That's more manageable. Now you can see how good I am at this game. Oh, please, 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 please. Okay. That was a little, little weak. Here we go. Nice, 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 beautiful. And I'm here. And I got the thing. I wonder if the uh, flight commands are actually there. Can I go to the moon in this build? I didn't see the moon in the patch notes, but it looks like the flight controls are all there and stuff in the codes. Now we just gotta see the dartboard in this dark, spooky room. Oh, I can see all the way down. That's very handy. Was it like that before? Oh, I don't remember. I think there was a time where it was very dark in here and you couldn't see down. Yeah, bulls, bullseye. Close enough in my book, close enough. Here's that little microscope. All right, let's see if we can get to space. I'm curious. All right, here we go. Last microscope. And the field is down and launch codes. 444-4244. I remember a time when you could get in one of these and there was like a flight simulator room. I wonder why that got removed. That was so cool. That place was just really, really cool. Okay, well, now I've got this. I guess I can go and fuel the rocket now? Since I have to put up with the sound of the fly pack anyways, I might as well get the convenience of it as well. <laughs> I wonder if this is supposed to be in this build of the game. I don't know, I feel like it isn't, because you can't select accessories yet, at least not that I know of, and not in the same way. Like, you don't go into the changing room and select them, because you can only change skins there. Oh, hey! I just found something. The fly pack is available in this version of the game, and I can take it. <laughs> I'm gonna take the jet pack because it's less noisy. I can open the door. That's cool. Uh, does this have a loading zone? No, it does not. That's, that's, that's fantastic. Can I get out? I wanna get out, please. There we go. Ooh, it was very bright in that room. Okay, so the fly pack is indeed part of this version. That's good. That's very good. Okay, so we need to fuel the rocket. I kind of want to do that, but I also kind of want to find out where the blood world is. And uh, I think I know the best way to do that. I'm wondering if I've taken off the thing. Now I put it back on? No, the fly packs are just bugged. I'm going to use the fly pack to go to the very top of the sewers. Because I know there were big secrets up here before. And is this possibly where they put the little box? Because I remember it was here at one point. Oh, well, look at that. Oopsie. Can I just peek inside, please? Please and thank you. What's in the box? What is in, what's in the box? Show me in the box. I want to, I want to see inside the box. I want to see inside... Why is the lid so strongly attached? Oh, now look what I've done. Okay, you know what? Desperate times call for desperate measures, and I think this is 
what they would call a desperate time. And this is what you would call a desperate measure. Fire in the hole. There we go. That's, that, that'll fix it. Okay, you know what? I think I think we have a solution to this problem. The, the lid is now impaled inside the box. That is fantastic. Please do not block me from going inside said box. I think it is blocking me from going inside said box. Don't fall over, please. Inside the box. Get in the box. Yes, yes, I got in the box. Let's go. Oh, that was a weird loading screen. I don't think they allow you to use jetpacks. Uh, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, oh, yeah, there's a hard mode and a regular mode. Well, I've already got the skin, so it doesn't really matter. Right now, it's not in hard mode. So... I got 300 pumpkins. If you use a uh, jetpack, you can't do hard mode. But because I already did this event, I already have the skins, so it doesn't really matter for me to do them again. So I'm not going to. But there are some tricks to this, if I remember correctly. Way up there, there's a moon. If you can get to the moon, you're going to have a whole lot easier time doing this challenge. So basically, there's some guns up here that allow you to shoot pumpkins instead of just having to touch pumpkins. And that makes things a little bit more manageable for this event. I'm not going to go through it all because I've already done it, as I said. But if I could fly up a little bit more, that'd be kind of cool. Oh no, this is a fake moon. Go up to the fake moon, and on top of it, there should be... Yeah, there it is. A whole plethora of fun things to use. And it's not much in terms of ammo. But if you're sparing with them, these will help you get a long way. A traffic cone. Can I? <laughs> That's fun. Um, now we can try and get to the moon. Which includes me busting up a whole bunch of cars. Now, can I just do the same old thing I used to do and just like... Hiya. There we go. Yes. And there's a the gas can. And we're just going to keep bouncing until we get enough gas cans. And then we're going to go with space. The explosions are a lot more violent in this game look at that the actual chassis of the car goes flying that's cool they did say something about like explosions being better because that was part of the uh adding the flamethrower thing can i holster that no i can't oh i can fly with the tanks a whole lot better they're much more light oh that's nice i remember doing this challenge before it was very tricky to actually get the fuel to the rocket now it's not an issue there's just doors everywhere now from all the cars Oh boy, doors everywhere. I wonder if you can still do the holding the door super trampoline trick in this version. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Alright, to space. Ooh, the rocket is ready. You can use the rocket to visit the moon. Also, a new t-shirt has been unlocked. Wow. Okay, I'm going to the moon now. Aye, 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 aye. I think I will be Darth Vader for this one. Oh, we've got Mr. Buzzy Boy. Okay, well, we're just gonna... Ooh, yuck. Uh, we got laser blasters. We got frog zappers. That's awesome. Okay, um, this is different. Where actually am I? Hello? This is, uh... This is different. I'm, I'm confused and concerned. Help. I don't know where I am. I'm lost in uh, the space laboratory. Wait a minute. Where, where am I? Where? This is the other door to that room, right? Okay, yep, yep, okay. This takes me outside, right? Because that used to be... Yeah, that's where the porta potty was. Okay, so we spawn in the room with the porta potty now. Okay, that's good. Whoa, special notice. Wow, you made it to the moon. Congratulations, it seems like nothing can stop you. However, this door is now going to stop you, simply because the developers have not yet finished remastering the moon world. But don't panic. An update will come soon, bringing the moon's content. Howie. Oh, you cheeky monkeys. Well, if there's one thing you should have learned by now, it seems like nothing can stop you. That was an accurate statement. This door will not stop me. It will not stop me from achieving my goals. What cheeky methods can I use to get out of this place? I was once able to get to the outside of the space area, this area right here, the space laboratory, because this is underneath the map, if I remember correctly. And if it's in the same spot it was before, this is underneath the map. Now, does that help me in any way in particular? I don't think so. I could get to this area by flying over the wall 
of the, like, the laser barrier thing. Here's what I'm gonna do. Can I bring holstered items with me? I really hope so. I'm gonna take these CO2 tanks, and I'm gonna see if I can- ay -ay -ay. Oh no, I don't think I kept my stuff, and I also didn't keep my jetpack. That's also really irritating. So the only thing I can do here is use the fly pack because that is on by default this guy for some reason. Interesting. So I don't have my jetpack with me and I don't have my CO2 tank or propane tank really is what it's called. CO2 tank? What does that even mean? Oh, it's so close yet so far. Mm. They take away all my methods, and that's the only way they can beat me. Give me that spacesuit. Oopsie. Well, there goes my only line of uh, offense. Oh, uh, boy. Uh, you stupid sign. You think you're better than me. Well, that might be an end to this. Uh, I used to be so much better at escaping. I used to be. There was nothing they could do to keep me out of places. When they added the flight school, they said, no, 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 you can't get in. And I said, yes, yes, yes. Yes, I can. So I did. And I did get in. But that was using my jetpack and propane tank method. Aw. Oh, can I just, like... No, I don't want the spacesuit. Wait, where, where was that? Where'd this come from? Can I, like, hack my way out of here? I'm gonna hack it. What if I smack the airlock with an axe? Before I close this out, I'd like to say a few things. For those who really love Amazing Frog, just like me, but also maybe are feeling like this game is a little bit abandoned. I want to assure you, 100% it is not. Now, here's a couple things to remember about this game. It is being developed in two different versions simultaneously. Um, the developers are making updates for V3 and V2 Remastered, which are very, very separate versions of the game. V2 Remastered is uh, basically the original game with updated physics and stuff, like on a new engine, and things are just a lot more smooth. So it's like the base game, but updated and modern and stuff. V3 is basically a completely different game. Updated graphics all sorts of new things. It takes a long time to develop things, especially when you're doing two different branches. And the second thing to remember is this dev team is two people, as as far as I know. I think it's still two people. I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is still two people. And they're very dedicated to this game, and I really appreciate that. So rest assured, we are going to get updates, and they posted that they're going to be giving some V3 news very soon, which is really cool for me, because I think V3 is really the future of Amazing Frog. I know some people really don't like V3, like the way it looks. I personally love it. I love the way it looks, I love the way it plays, and I love the new stuff in it. So, I'm super excited for V3. And V2 Remastered is there for those who just prefer this. And that's really great. So, there's some for everybody. But until next update, guys, I think that's where I'm going to call this one. And I hope you enjoyed. And uh, until next time, I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of Amazing Frog. If you did, leave a like. And if you haven't already and you would like to, subscribe to see more Amazing Frog and all the other things I post right here on this channel. And as always, guys, in case I don't see you, Good afternoon, good evening, and good night.